Competitive eating, or speed eating, is an activity in which participants compete against each other to consume large quantities of food, usually in a short time period. Contests are typically 8 to 10 minutes long, although some competitions can last up to 30 minutes, with the person consuming the most food being declared the winner. Competitive eating is most popular in the United States, Canada and Japan, where organized professional eating contests often offer prizes, including cash. History. Traditionally, eating contests, often involving pies, were events at county fairs. The recent surge in the popularity of competitive eating is due in large part to the development of the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, an annual holiday tradition that has been held on July 4 virtually every year since the 1970s at Coney Island. In 2001, Takaru Kobayashi ate 50 hot dogs, smashing the previous record 25.5. The event generates enormous media attention and has been aired on ESPN for the past eight years, contributing to the growth of the competitive eating phenomenon. Takaru Kobayashi won it consistently from 2001 through 2006. He was dethroned in 2007 by Joey Chestnut. In 2008, Chestnut and Kobayashi tied at 59 hot dogs in 10 minutes the time span had previously been 12 minutes, and Chestnut won in an eat-off in which he was the first of the two competitors to finish eating five hot dogs in overtime, earning Chestnut his second consecutive title. Chestnut still holds the world record of 69 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes for the 2013 competition. Kobayashi holds six Guinness records, for eating hot dogs, meatballs, Twinkies, hamburgers, and pizza. He competed in hot dog contests in 2011 and 2012 and claimed to have eaten 68 and 69. The current champion is Joey Chestnut, with a total of 74 hot dogs and buns eaten on July 4, 2018. Topic: Organizations. Topic: All Pro Eating. All Pro Eating competitive eaters include Molly Schuyler, Eric Silo, Dahl, Jamie, The Bear, McDonald, and Stephanie Zanadu, Torres. Topic IFOCE. The International Federation of Competitive Eating (IFOCE) hosts nearly 50 major league eating events across North America every year. Topic Other challenges. Other eating contests sponsored by restaurants can involve a challenge to eat large or extraordinarily spicy food items, including giant steaks, hamburgers and curries in a set amount of time. Those who finish the item are often rewarded by not having to pay for the item, or with a t-shirt and the addition of their name and or photo on a wall of challenge victors. For example, Ward's House of Prime located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, has a prime rib meat challenge. The current record is 360 ounces by Molly Schuyler in June 2017. Various challenges of this type are featured in the Travel Channel show Man v. Food. The Great American Eat-Off, a show that pits two average eaters against each other to see who can eat the fastest, while raising awareness for charity and then brings in a professional competitive eater to beat the winning time, raises the stakes for competitive eaters by incorporating various challenges and obstacles that would interfere with their speed. 
Obstacles may include eating with two spoons, eating with no hands, or interval eating where the competitive eat is permitted to eat for a limited time and then must rest for a specific time i.e., eat 20 seconds, rest 40 seconds, eat 20 seconds, rest 40 seconds etc. until they have completed the designated food. Interval eating was created by Gail Casper. Topic: Notable competitive eaters. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Contest structure. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Food. The type of food used in contests varies greatly, with each contest typically only using one type of food e.g. a hot dog eating contest. Foods used in professional eating contests include hamburgers, hot dogs, pies, pancakes, chicken wings, asparagus, pizza, ribs, whole turkeys, among many other types of food. There is also a vegan hot dog eating competition held in Austin, Texas. Topic. Rules and overview of events Competitive eating contests often adhere to an 8, 10, 12, or 15-minute time limit. Most contests are presided over by a master of ceremonies, whose job is to announce the competitors prior to the contest and keep the audience engaged throughout the contest with enthusiastic play-by-play -play commentary and amusing anecdotes. A countdown from 10 usually takes place at the end of the contest, with all eating coming to an end with the expiration of time. Many professional contests also employ a series of judges, whose role is to enforce the contest rules and warn eaters about infractions. Judges will also be called upon to count or weigh each competitor's food and certify the results of the contest prior to the winner being announced. Topic. Chipmunking Many eaters will attempt to put as much food in their mouths as possible during the final seconds of a contest, a practice known by professionals as chipmunking. If chipmunking is allowed in a contest, eaters are given a reasonable amount of time typically less than two minutes to swallow the food or risk a deduction from their final totals. Topic. Dunking In many contests, except those adhering to «picnic-style rules» mentioned previously, eaters are allowed to dunk foods in water or other liquids in order to soften the food and make it easier to chew and swallow. Dunking typically takes place with foods involving a bun or other doughy parts. Professional contests often enforce a limit on the number of times competitors are allowed to dunk food. Topic: <inaudible> Debris. Competitors are required to maintain a relatively clean eating surface throughout the contest. Excess debris after the contest results in a deduction from the eater's final totals. Topic. Vomiting If, at any point during or immediately after the contest, a competitor regurgitates any food, he or she will be disqualified. Vomiting, also known as a «reversal» or, as ESPN and the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest call it, a «reversal of fortune» includes obvious signs of vomiting as well as any small amounts of food that may fall from the mouth deemed by judges to have come from the stomach. Small amounts of food already in the mouth prior to swallowing are excluded from this rule. <laughs> Training and preparation 
Many professional competitive eaters undergo rigorous personal training in order to increase their stomach capacity and eating speed with various foods. Stomach elasticity is usually considered the key to eating success, and competitors commonly train by drinking large amounts of water over a short time to stretch out the stomach. Others combine the consumption of water with large quantities of low calorie foods such as vegetables or salads. Some eaters chew large amounts of gum in order to build jaw strength. For a marquee event like the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, some eaters, like current contest champion Joey Chestnut, will begin training several months before the event with personal time trials using the contest food. Retired competitive eater Ed. Cookie Jarvis trained by consuming entire heads of boiled cabbage followed by drinking up to two gallons of water every day for two weeks before a contest. Due to the risks involved with training alone or without emergency medical supervision, the IFOCE actively discourages training of any sort. Televised contests. The annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, which has been held every 4th of July since the 1970s, is televised live on ESPN from Coney Island in the Brooklyn borough of New York City. The annual Crystal Square Off Hamburger Eating Contest has been televised on ESPN and, in 2008, on the Root Sports South Network. In 2002, the Fox Network aired a two-hour competitive eating contest called the Glutton Bowl. Spike TV now the Paramount Network broadcast several IFOCE-sanctioned competitive eating competitions as part of its «MLE Chowdown» series. Criticisms and dangers Topic. Criticisms The chief criticism of competitive eating is the message the gluttonous sport sends as obesity levels rise among Americans and the example it sets for youth. Others, like actor Ryan Reynolds in an editorial on The Huffington Post, contend that competitive eating is yet another example of Western gluttony at a time when so many others around the world are starving. In the same article, retired competitive eater Don Moses Lehrman foreshadows the dangers of competitive eating when he admits, "I'll stretch my stomach until it causes internal bleeding." Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dangers. The argument that competitive eating can cause weight gain, which may lead to obesity and elevated cholesterol and blood pressure, is common. The potential damage that competitive eating can cause to the human digestive system was the subject of a 2007 study by the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine. The study observed professional eater Tim Janis, who ate 36 hot dogs in 10 minutes before doctors intervened. It was concluded that through training, Janus's stomach failed to have normal muscle contractions called peristalsis, a function which transfers food from the stomach down the digestive tract. Other medical professionals contend that binge eating can cause stomach perforations in those with ulcers, and gulping large quantities of water during training can lead to water intoxication, a condition which dilutes electrolytes in the blood. Gastroparesis, also known as stomach paralysis, is also a concern among those who routinely stretch their stomachs beyond capacity. The condition may lead to the stomach's inability to contract and lose its ability to empty itself. Side effects of gastroparesis include chronic indigestion, nausea and vomiting. Deaths. In October 2012, a 32-year-old man died while competitively eating live roaches and worms in a contest to win a ball python. An autopsy revealed he choked to death. 
On July 4, 2014, a 47-year-old competitive eater similarly choked to death during a hot dog eating contest. At a Sacred Heart University event on April 2, 2017, a 20-year-old female student died as a result of a pancake eating contest. Topic. See also. Gluttony Man v. Food Milk chugging Muck bang Wing bowl